Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. Today I'm going to talk about the dark feminine, what the dark feminine is and how to access this energy. So the dark feminine is an aspect of yourself, the wild, untamed, primal aspect of you. It is your power. It is the sexual, sensual energy. It is the access to your pleasure, as well as the full spectrum of your emotions, especially your anger, your rage. And for women, they have been shamed when they do access their anger. And so this is the unapologetic self. This is reclaiming the full expression of being in your feminine energy. Divine feminine is not only the light feminine, which is the compassionate, agreeable, um, loving aspect of yourself. It is also the dark feminine and it is your shadow aspect. It is tapping into the parts of yourself that are hard to deal with and actually transmuting this energy by expressing it. It is connected to your three lower chakras. First and foremost, it is connected to the root energy and it is the power center. It is knowing who you are and moving through the world in a very balanced, grounded way, knowing what your strengths are as well as your weaknesses and not allowing anyone to tilt you off of your truth when you are truly grounded. The root energy also stores traumas and so accessing the physical body and working through the body and healing oneself through somatic work, through movement, through shaking, through, through any sort of physical movement or even sexual healing can bring about a great amount of shifting and releasing from the body. Now moving into your sacral energy, which is the center of your emotion, the center of your sensuality, sexuality. It is connected to the element of water. And when we do not nourish ourselves, this energy center becomes out of balance and finding ways to nourish ourselves, not only through foods, which is very important, high vibrational foods like fruits and vegetables, organic, local, seasonal, is the best in order to nourish your body, but also nourishing yourself by slowing down, being present with your body, as well as tapping into your birthright, tapping into your true pleasure and practicing this. So I'm going to be sharing with you in a few moments how to access this aspect of yourself, your deep pleasure, your dark feminine. The third center is the solar plexus chakra, which is your power center, your ability to move in the world, take action, your charisma, your brilliance, and your ability to magnetize to you what you desire. This power center is actually masculine energy. So this place of taking action is very masculine oriented while the sacral is more of this presence and slowing down and nourishing the self so it's more feminine frequency and unlearning the beliefs that have held you back from tapping into your pleasure and so this is why it's so important to do the inner work shadow work shadow work is connected to the aspects of ourselves that have been suppressed denied due to trauma or societal conditioning. How to access your dark feminine energy? You can do this by tapping into your anger, your rage, allowing yourself to fully express yourself. There are rage rituals that you can do and if you don't feel comfortable enough doing this on your own, I highly recommend trying it out with someone who facilitates rage rituals in your city. Now if you don't have something like this, if you're at home, hopefully by yourself, and if you're not by yourself, you can use a pillow to scream into and just allow yourself to fully express what is present in your body. If you're angry, allowing yourself to be angry. The anger is there for a reason. It is an indication that your boundaries have been overstepped. And so allowing that expression, it's like you're claiming back what is yours, cutting the cords from those who try to take your power uh, away from you.
And so a rage ritual can be very empowering and allow for any tension or pent up energy, stuck energy in the body to be released. And you could do this by shaking, making any toning sounds, like accessing your body as you're toning, as you're making the sound. You could be out in nature doing this as well, and uh, you can be punching a pillow, sometimes hissing might come through. There's like this primal energy that may come through when you are expressing this. Do not judge yourself for it. It's very normal, and it's actually a very natural part of being human to express yourself in this intensity. But growing up, for many of us, just even 50% of expressing this was deemed to be too much. And then there was this sort of maybe abandonment or shunning that had happened or just invalidation of our emotions. And so by having a rage ritual, you're claiming back what is truly yours. Number two is wearing black, red, or any dark colors. Leather as well is very powerful in tapping into your dark feminine and having a photo shoot in this, embodying the dark feminine energy and channeling that while in a photo shoot. You can do self portraits for yourself where you have your camera on a tripod and taking pictures of yourself. By capturing that frequency, by capturing yourself in that sort of expression, it is so deeply empowering. And then you get to know different aspects and parts of yourself. And you'll notice that there are layers that you start to claim more and more of. Because the dark feminine is not just something you claim overnight, especially that it has been so suppressed. Now, number three, another way is to do a self-pleasure practice. And if you want to take this to another level, self-pleasure practice in front of a mirror. You can use an obsidian wand, an ameth amethyst wand, uh, some sort of gemstone wand that is uh, okay to be used within your yoni. This can be so empowering. And of course, when doing the pleasure practice, it's not always pleasure only. There may be emotions that come up and shame may come through. And having compassion for yourself and rewiring your mind with how you experience pleasure is very important. Sometimes coming back into the body and moving from the mind and into the body can be very difficult and may bring up memories, pain. And so again, this is very normal, but at the same time, you can shift out of this by telling yourself, by bringing love to this aspect of yourself, bringing the awareness of love to this part of you. And when pleasuring yourself, Connect to your throat energy, connect to your sacral, connect to your uh, root energy, your yoni, and allowing that energy to move up into your throat and to uh, allow yourself ex to express that pleasure out loud. This is such an empowering practice that you can do for yourself, and then you start to tap into your dark feminine energy even more. Another way to tap into your dark feminine is by tapping into your menstrual cycle, knowing when your follicular ovulation, luteal, and bleed is happening. By connecting to your own uh, menstrual cycle, you connect to your body, again, the root energy. This might be edgy for some people, but collecting your own menstrual blood, mixing it with water and offering it to the earth creates a deeper connection to your body as well as to Mother Earth. And it creates this sort of healing energy, frequency within the body. And this might be also very uncomfortable for some people, but placing it on your face, menstrual blood is so deeply nourishing for the skin. And, you know, instead of uh, paying for an expensive facial, menstrual blood can do so much for your skin. And another way to tap into your dark feminine energy is to be unapologetically you, to express your authentic self, to be you without the fear of someone leaving you because the real ones will stay around. They will stick around. And this can be hard. That root energy uh, trauma around abandonment may be highly triggered. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment below if you'd like me to expand on anything that I mentioned. I would be, I would be more than happy to share. Please subscribe to my channel as well as like this video and I will see you very, very soon.